that. Alright. This game is going to have a lot of glitches all going on, which some even start even before the timer starts. Uh, oh. The reason I'm doing 1380 is because when I import, the game will overflow over and over again, and it will end up giving me 100 strength. All right. How many excess stats can be imported? Technically none. So anything that is at 100 is where it needs to be. Um, that's the reason why I did 1380 is because of the way that, the way that the bytes work out. Somebody figured it out on the last stream. It was really cool um, that it reads the first byte and it ends up being 100. So uh, whenever you work it out, and I forget how we did it. Anyway, three, two, one, go. First thing I'm going to do is just keep spamming the plus button to get my speed up, and I am not going to switch my. Uh, animation to the walking until I or until the running until I'm on the next screen because it likes to switch whatever icon you're on to the eyeball whenever you do that at the last moment in that screen for whatever reason. Oh, that's right. That was a little sloppy, but that's okay. You don't need to look for it for the door, you just need to know it's there and use the lockpick on it. And with 190 lockpick, you're good to go. And even with 100 weapon use, this guy is RNG as to whether or not you hit him. But once you hit him, he's dead. He doesn't stand a chance. We're up and over with 90 climbing, and I believe 90 is the threshold for getting over that wall. My personal record is two minutes based on start button, which actually I looked at our um, speedrun.com listings, and that is not where the... We're still going off of the old uh, SDA runs where uh, you take control. I was wondering if it had something to do with that. I figured it did. I said two minutes even is my record, but... And Quest for Glory 1 done. A little faster than last time also. A little faster than last time. If you're not familiar with that glitch at the end of the game, if you press Control S and bring up the stat screen while your feet are locked to the ground, for whatever reason it unlocks your character. And there's a couple different other ways you can do it too. Um, the way that originally spawned this entire possibility was uh, was throwing. You, we threw either a dagger or the, or rocks, pretty much any throwing animation. And it wouldn't surprise me if most animations uh, do that. I don't know if there's any that are left unturned, but we use the uh, we use the open spell in the EGA version because the same glitch exists, which is really nice. Glory is saved. The moment it says it's saved, I'm kicking out and heading over to the next game in the series. It, it probably would. I was wondering if that would work. But it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, let's put all of it in weapon use. We'll use that later. Simplified. That's good. We're going to change ourselves to running, get our speed up right away. Game skill. I play the... Quest for Glory 2 Remake, because the remake is just faster all, all around. It really is. Um, we have some mega skips in the EGA version that allow us to skip all of the elementals. It doesn't really matter. The, um, EG, the VGA is faster, even though I am importing with only one gold. Whenever you import use, er, using uh, a game that has used the glitch from Quest for Glory 1 to exit, uh, it specifically the VGA version it does not 
Uh, it doesn't like it. it. It only leaves you with one. It's almost as if it knows that it's cheated. But I did look into it before, and it looks like there is a good technical reason. Um, I needed to save one centime for bartering later. Because if I had none, it wouldn't work. But for whatever reason, one does. So I'm going to come out at night. There's no real good time to get this bellows that are on the route. So now we're at day two. Day three. Day four. Day five. I recommend counting out loud for day six. It will help you to not die. Which is really, let's be fair, it's the goal of being a hero. Got scared there, I forgot. Put the lamp down. I did put the lamp down. And now we are headed to day seven to get our money for defeating the fire elemental. That's how fast it is. You can actually beat the entire game using no money at all. Um, I call it a bankrupt percent. I've done it for the remake and the original EGA. And yeah, you do need to actually navigate the hallways, but it's actually not as bad as you'd think. Um, there's actually a pretty easy system of... Uh, going back and forth that really um, that really helps you navigate those halls. Uh, day seven's done. Let's go to day nine. Bought a little food there. Food makes it a little safer. Day eight, day nine. And we're going to buy the rest of what we need for the game here. Going to buy trigger and oop, and then we're going to get the last little bit that we need there. We have enough throwing skill that we can just throw the dirt in there. Sent sent time. I don't know how it's pronounced. Day 10. Uh, Centim. Okay, I see. Uh, day 12. Day 13. This is probably the best place to encounter the Earth Elemental. That's how you kill an Earth Elemental with enough throwing. And he didn't stand very much of a chance. Day 14. You can go immediately out and fight the next Elemental. I have not gotten a one cycle on this guy in a while for his roundabouts. Let's see if I can do it. I might have done it. Yes! <laughs> And there we have it. No, actually what I do is I throw burning powder, which you get from Harik if you are a thief. That is a thief-only solution to the... That is actually class-locked, unlike a lot of the other solutions in the game. Uh, you have to beg him for burning powder. Two of them kills him. You can also, in the remake, do it in combat, which is how I handle it in the collection any percent without any major stack glitches. You just walk up to him, and um, you get yourself into battle, and you can hit Q, and the Q button will launch the burning powder in battle. Now, if you're close enough to him, it is like a kamikaze attack. You blow yourself up. You can survive it if you have enough hit points, but uh, you can also just step back and hit Q, and you'll throw it, and it won't cause any damage to you. 
There is a quick kill that can happen with that, though, that is very random. Um, I only had it for the happen for the first time in like almost a year, the, um, the last collection any percent run I did. Collection no major skips run. No stat glitches run, I should say. I use plenty of major skips. <laughs> I definitely use major skips. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Usually I've got like 20 strength. No vitality. I've gone through it in EGA with literally one strength and no other stats in my arsenal. Got to rest out here. in this section. Let's go. Here we go. Get you up. Yes. Uh, it is uh, really funny to see those. It's also interesting to see the minimum that the game gives you. You're not over encumbered immediately. You actually have a base a base hold ability, so like a base uh, maximum weight, which I think is 2400. Could be 2600. I forget. Probably also depends on the game. But what is interesting is the way that all the games kind of treat things the same. There is quite a bit in the code that runs true throughout the entire game. Yeah, I know. I actually made the joke in the other run. Uh, what is she doing at that moment? Well, she said she's taking your visa, and if you wait there long enough, the guards come in and arrest you because she's committed identity theft. It's the only possible solution, right? It's just more secure to spam the button there. And stop. There we go. Things are going okay so far. That's a good question. That's a good question. I don't even know if that's possible. I never thought about it. It's a good idea. That was fast. Yeah, that went really well. I like the idea of entering the running stance there. Yeah, that went really well. That was a really smooth end, um, quest for glory too. Like, from start to finish that was smooth. I'm not used to that. I'm gonna have to relook at that and see what my time was just for that section. Um, because with an imported character, we have a category for that. Wow. 
I'm happy. <laughs> Hexagram being uneven is rude. Where's that at? Is it on my stream? Your PB with an imported is 931. I don't know where I was. I don't know where I was. Is that the record, David? I know I've done that with Magic User from any percent, so... It's the only run. Well, I'm definitely willing to put that one up there because I, I just liked that one. That one just felt right. Uh, let's go with strength today. <laughs> technically, yeah, he's got the uh, his PB is that, but technically it's world record. RNG will make the difference here. Interesting. Now, no hotkeys work in this game at all. Uh, except insert. Funny enough, insert still does. That's bad luck. <laughs> and it kicked me out. Well, that's some time lost there. Here comes the Earth Pig. No Earth Pig. All right, well, I guess that's a consolation prize. Let's run off screen and see what we can do. No encounter at night, no earth pig. Um, that doesn't happen too often. I don't know what the percentages are on those, though. Getting some bad false encounters, though. I really don't know what causes them. But it makes me sad when it happens. So. I like in Quest for Glory 5 whenever I'm beating the, uh, leaving the Dazzle spell in the background there so that way I can lock that guy down without actually uh, tight locking down my Calm spell. That seems to work pretty well. We're going to go full YOLO DDD here. Got it. Turn up the speed. Does it do anything? Who knows? We may never know. Ah, oh, all right. Just running across the savanna. I would. That'd be cool to find a way to zip across the savanna. That'd be pretty neat. Like Quest for Glory 6 style. I still don't quite understand why that zipping works. I'm sorry, um, King's Quest 6. Thank you. Yeah, why does that zipping work in Quest for Glory 6? I should just make up like all these like random strats about a game I don't that doesn't even exist. <laughs> I 
<laughs> quest for glory six or king's king's quest it's a secret game only the cool kids can play it of course why not hitting the 20 minute 20 minute mark I'm glad the insert key does work because that does optimize things quite a bit All right, pretty quick. It was less than a minute, actually, if I'm looking at the time right. Just gotta wait for the whole posse to come out. I'm gonna use this time where the game's running to move over to my Quest for Glory um, disk directory so I can do the copy a little faster. Boo doo doo, boo doo doo. By casting trigger. What's control M? Or is it troll mouse and maybe it just got cut off? I can't tell. Mouse button click, yeah. So you can go backwards. You could probably optimize that too. I just so used and that would just break all muscle memory. Oh, is that what that does? So in other words, it does the same thing as the enter key. Because enter works. Come on, you coming out? There you go. Sometimes you have to cast a spell and get some. Alright, come on, game. Give me a first rounder. Didn't give me the first round. Didn't give me the second round. But it did give me the third. Time to dance. Man, this is going way better than yesterday. <laughs> Knock on wood. Keep right-clicking to get through. 
Thought I didn't do that. Oh, well, I overrode it. No biggie. Activate the mega glitch. One thing I need to do is make sure my open spell has enough skill. I did not do that last time, and I think I got very lucky. You know what? I'll be okay with that. Uh, 47. I need 50 to get it to import correctly to Quest for Glory 5. If it doesn't, for whatever reason, it just doesn't go to Quest for Glory 5, you lose the spell. I've tested it with 49, and then I tested it with 50, and uh, that is, in fact, what happened. It was very depressing. Time to go to the castle. This game ran as fast as Quest for Glory um, 4 CD did. You know, very good position. I take that Wraith route because that resets the um, RNG so I don't run into any monsters on the way. Clicked. And as Crow pointed out at the end of the last run, this is wonderful because it'll show uh, what if real monsters. <laughs> like that time I, I, I missed sub 57. Yeah. I have plenty of regrets in this game screwing up as much as I do, not learning Quest for Glory 5, not speedrunning Lands of Lore after all these years. Plenty of regrets. Real first world stuff. Better late than never. It's fair. It's fair. Yes, you do. <laughs> I might read them. <laughs> In fact, I think you might be the only one. You and Crow might be the only ones who can pull it off. I feel like I'm way ahead. Thief 100% for 5. There's only one person who's done it, and I don't think that realm's optimized, but at least they did it. Yeah, that's a, that'll, that is a huge topic on... Zip over there, which is nice. Whew. 
Whew. That was close. Not the best spot, that's okay. It's a good kill on Bruno. MB Stone, I believe, is the guy who did the Quest for Glory uh, 5 Thief 100%. If anybody would has known how to do it, it would probably be him. You we could say, I'm almost to the point where I can say, if it, nobody knows in our Discord... Oh, that could be. That could... That, that, that would make sense, actually. Um... If anybody doesn't know in our you Discord, it's probably just not known. That's kind of where I'm landing right now. Prince of Shakti, I will... Brainiac would be another person to check with. Quest for Glory 5 is his baby, it seems like. I like how door handles are a problem in 5, but you can open up stone boulders and locks for Quest for Glory 1. If your skill is high enough, it'll actually just open up the door. The dragon will rise to destroy all of Silmaria. If I cannot rule what is rightfully mine, then I shall destroy it. You cannot stop me. Nobody can stop me. No one can stop me. I am your doom. I'm your doom. Except the floor. The floor could stop him. Gravity took him by surprise. That evil floor that we tried to stop in uh, Quest for Glory 2 came back with a vengeance. The one in the Forbidden Cave, the cave of the end of speedruns. I get close enough to him, it's not gonna be a big deal. I don't think you know what it means.
I haven't watched that movie in a very, very long time. Good to see you, Aaron. Are you kidding me? No! I cannot do this today with this guy. I just can't even. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, thank God. My health. <laughs> oh, my little heart. I'm not going to get sub 35, but this should be another record. Man, I cannot get that dragon quick kill to save my life. Oh, what was it last time? I think I beat it by seven seconds. I think we good. Get that magical pixel of life. I'm just slamming every button. Thanks, Chris. Thanks. I'm just slamming every button. I'm like, yo, which one is it? I could never tell all these bottles look the same because I only speed run the any percent. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my gosh. Okay, well. I want to save this character. That's enough of that. It's enough of that.